Hi guys, this is Alison Pryor. This is lesson three and we're going to start the big wave. Now, I, to make this so much easy for you, so as you can see, oh, the big wave it looks pretty nice. And what we're going to do to make it very easy for you is to draw, actually to draw that line. Just pretend that's a line, see? That's just a line. Now, that's a bit of paint that I spilled on it. <laughs> so, um, just pretend that that's a line. So, take a piece of chalk and take your chalk and figure out where you want your wave. Okay, so uh, let's pick a spot. So, let's just pick right here. And we'll bring the wave, the, the chalk line, okay? The chalk line goes up as far as you want it to go. So we want to go way, 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 way up here and down and down and oops and up and over. So that will help you get a wave started. Okay, and you're like, how does that work? So what you're going to do is you're going to have your blue. So we're going with the same palette because we've been continuing from the other lessons. So, um, I got the uh, blue and the white. We need white. I think we need more white. Okay, so we just got some white. And we have uh, red and yellow and green. And, and so these are the colors that you should have on your palette when you're working on your wave. But right now all we need is a bristle brush. Okay, nothing too big, just probably a medium size bristle brush about this big. To get us started okay and then you're going to dip into some blue paint some ultramarine blue with a bit of white we, we want to have the shadow color on first so it's going to be mostly blue okay so I just filled up the top here and tap over that line that you just made just tap 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 yes don't forget our tapping tap 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 there we go see we're getting a wave started already. So tap, 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 tap. Make sure you got some blue on there because we want to use that as our shadow. Okay? And tap, 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 tap all the way over. So don't go rubbing it on or anything like that. You have to tap, and I'll tell you why. You have to tap in order to make those, those colors separate. See? So you put a bit of white on there, and as you tap, the colors will separate. So you don't want to go over the same area constantly. You just get a blob. But if you move and you tap, 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 you will get a nice start of a wave. Okay? There's your start. So you can tap back over it again, but just uh, you don't want to tap away all the color into just one blue. Okay? So that's that much. So that's a start. Now it's not exactly like the other one, but I don't, it, you make your line, whatever way you make your line, whatever, whatever you want to shape, the type of shape of wave you want, you just go ahead and make that shape. There's no right or wrong. You just make the kind of wave you want. Now I'm just tapping into only white this time. My brush is dirty and I'm going to tap on top of what I just did on top, but leave the bottom. Okay. Leave the bottom. And just tap on top of what you just did. Tap, 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 tap. And now you're getting some nice foam on the top of that, but yet you still got your shadows on the bottom. See? So see how nice that is? So now you tap, just white, dirty brush. Tap, 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 just on the top, on the top only. Leave the bottom for your shadow. And your this is wet paint, so your white is going to pick up still some more blues and give you some more shadows. Okay, so pick up only white, but when you tap on here, if the paint is still wet, it'll pick up your blues underneath. So you, it'd be nice if you could work, if you could work it uh, while it's wet, work everything wet on wet when you come to the wave, and then tap on top again. Tap 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 tap. Tap, 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 and then blend it in here. Good. So that's, uh, now what you want to do now is to make it nice and softer looking. You're going to clean off your brush. Just wipe it off in your tissue. No need to uh, put in water or anything. Just wipe it off in your tissue. 
and then then you tap at it again underneath where the shadow is and where what you just tapped on there meet just tap underneath there and now bring those two lines together tap 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 don't don't rub don't uh, don't scrub at it or anything like that just tap it on tap 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 there we go tap 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 all the way across and that will bring it all together and give it a nice now we're going to add actually a bit more white to that after okay but right now we'll just leave it like that for now and what I want to get you to do while we're waiting for that to dry a little bit we're going to put a line across here I believe I showed you this before um, actually no actually let's put the beach on because if we put that line on and we try to get the beach on it probably uh, won't work It'll be harder to work with. So you got some brown on your palette, okay? So you got some brown on your palette and some yellow and white. So brown and yellow and white and a flat bristle brush. I love working with bristle because it helps me spread the paint better, okay? And then so take some brown. This is a, a half inch. Some brown and some yellow and that make a really nice sandy color okay and a little bit of white if you want to brighten it up a bit oh got it all right so let's put that underneath here for your beach so let's get lots of it on there you're going to need lots of paint because you got a lot of the bottom there to work with and it's good to get separate colors see that you get some darks and lights that's okay because because um you get some shadows all right, so just go up to the green, to the green. There we go. Good. Now, keep doing your beach section. Even if you just want to add brown and white this time to give it a, a different shade. See, you get different shades, and that's kind of nice because you know what beaches are like. There's all kinds of shadows going on and dips and all kinds of stuff. So have all different colors. Don't be... Don't worry about it to have your, uh, you wouldn't want to add green or anything to it, but let's try it anyway. So you got brown, a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow. Let's experiment. It's always fun to try different things. And let's try that. Oh, that's a nice bit of darkness there and a bit of a shadow. Good. So you just go over what you did and try not to make it all one color if possible. Just, just put it on so that the paint, you get some lights and some darks. What else can we try? Some brown, some green, maybe a little bit of red, maybe a bit of yellow. I just thought I'd experiment with you because um, I've been teaching, you see all my lessons and I don't do anything uh, different or new. So sometimes I like to throw in a few things that might experiment with. So there we go. See how nice that color is too? And it's a nice shadow. You can even bring some of that shadow color over into here if you want. Good. I might be able to just sit, probably do a video someday on just one section. And um, that way I will be able to show you, you know, say we do a beach scene, then I can show you how to put little pebbles on there and shadows and, and dips and all kinds of different things but you'd only work on that one section and that way we take our time and, and do it really good i'd be able to explain it in more detail right now this is this painting is about a wave and i'm just trying to get this beach on here so we can get our wave so we can get our wave on there and what i'll do is we get this beach finished i'm just going to throw some white in here look see you just throw it on at, at, at the paint on as the other paint is already on there. The dark paints are already on there. You can just throw in some white. You can throw in some yellow. Look, just experiment and play with the colors. They're fun. That's what makes it fun. You just throw it on there. Throw it on. All right, we'll keep that beach as it is. And we'll probably put some darker colors in the corners here. Just to, if you've got a paint... <coughs> Excuse me, if you got a painting and you put some darks in the color in the corners, like say we put some more darks up here and we put these darks here, then what will happen is um, you'll have those shadows and it'll make your eye focus on the center of your painting. Now, so what I wanted to tell you to do next is 
I want you to take, let's try a fan brush. You can do it with a flat brush too. You don't have to do it with just a fan brush, okay? You can do this. What I'm going to do is this here, this, this line of paint right here, okay? So we'll try that. It's not going to look exactly like that yet because we're only going to do the basics first. So what you're going to do is get some white paint, pure white paint, and just white paint only. And then you fill up your brush so that all the bristles come together. Sometimes they're open. So you can just fill up your brush and it'll bring them together. You just pull through the paint like this. I'll just wiggle it a bit just to, to get it to bring all the brushes, the bristles together. Now, this might be a little tricky, but let's let's try it anyway. Now, I'm, I'm left-handed, so you might want to start over here. Sometimes I start over here, but I'll start over here for you. So I'm just going to touch, and I'm going to push, and I'm going to pull, and I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going because if I stop, I might lose where I want it to be. I might lose momentum. <laughs> so, okay, so now I did that. And if you need to go over it again, you can do that. Just touch, push, and pull. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, pull, pull. I'm running out of paint over here, so I'm just going to grab a piece over here. Good. Now, what we're going to do is, we got our line made, we're going to clean our brush off a little. And we're going to try, the fan brush may not work for this, so let's get a, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's get a, just a flat brush, flat sable brush. Let's see if that works. Sometimes we have to experiment with different brushes just to see how it's going to work, okay? And that line that you just put on there, just pull that back into the water. Now, it may look funny now, but I tell you, when we get this water, we're going to go back over this water again. So, that will all blend together when we get all the water finished. Because that's starting to dry now, so what happens is it's harder to work with. But let's just get that push back into the water here. Just for now, let's just get this push back in. I just want to show you that when you're doing a painting, it's probably going to look sometimes strange at first. It's probably going to look like it's never going to look nice. Uh, you don't know where to go from here because it looks so bad, right? So don't worry. Look, we're just getting all that. We're just getting it way back into the water. Don't even worry about it. And all you got to do now is take your fan brush and pick up some. We're just going to go back and forth over, uh, over this water. So take your fan brush again, and just to get this to look better than that, we'll take some blue paint, a little bit of green, a little bit of blue. All right, and we'll just go back in and go back and forth like this, to what like we did before, okay? And you can go back and forth, and then you're going to probably lose a little bit of that, but you have to go back and forth. So back and forth. And then you can still go back down into it because see now, see that's wet. If it dries on you, you can still put some white back in there. Let's just watch. Put some white back in there if you like. And then when you're putting on your uh, new paint, your new, new paint for your new water, then you can pull that back in here again. Pull it back in because now it's all wet and it looks much better. See? Okay, so it's a little bit of a struggle and it might be a little hard for you to pick up on, but we're going to, you know, we'll, we'll work with it and, uh, and we'll keep trying. Don't worry too much about it. We're just going to get this water on here now. I'm just, all I'm trying to do is show you how to get that wave to go back into the water. So if, you, if it dries up on you, put on more white. There we go. Just put more white on. And then you put your green and blue on your on your brush because you're going back into the water. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Pick up that white that you just put on there. Pull it back into what you're doing. Come back into the water. And that will at least get that much done. That will get 
that will get that uh, wave, that little shoreline back in, into the water so that it all looks like it's one. Okay, so that that's not anywhere near finished, but I'm just showing you the basics, right? So we, we brought the water back into the water. So we got a lot of work to do yet. We have all this, a bunch of stuff. So it's a lot of fun. Try not to get frustrated. Try not to get upset about it because it's all fun and you're just going to enjoy it, okay? So I think I'm gonna take a break and I'll come back and then I'll show you how to put, uh, I'll show you how to put that, the eye of the wave in there. We'll do that next. And hopefully we'll get this finished in one or two more steps. And um, you guys got any questions, email me at alisonpryor at yahoo.com if you're having any problems with this one. And uh, just keep going back over it and over it until you get it the way you want it. If you get stuck, let me know and I'll be there for you. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next lesson.